Disney is shutting down the Disney Movie Insider program and why that is probably a short-sighted thing. You know, with wearing a shirt like this, I had to do this. And uh, by the way, it's true. Hey everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez, film critic of iCritic.net. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your time here with me today as one of the more rare videos where I'm in front of the camera and we're having a heart-to-heart -heart talk. A huge bombshell was dropped today that the Disney Movie Insiders Club, which had been a huge thing with the Disney company for years, will be shutting down. Now, for those of you who are not aware of what Disney Movie Insiders was, it started out, I think, as like Disney Movie Rewards, where with every DVD and Blu-ray you bought, you would get a little piece of paper that would have points in them. And you would re collect these points and you can redeem them for various bits of merchandise, um, other DVDs, posters, things like that. I personally used it to buy that uh, signed Princess and the Frog poster that you see in the back of many of my videos uh so i mean i've definitely taken advantage of this thing and i have just made my final points redemption purchase which is going to be this iron man statue and i don't really know how big it's going to be but it was by far the most expensive thing i could find on the site today and considering i had just enough points i think i only had like 75 points left over after i made this purchase it's like you know what that's good, just wipe it out. I don't need another mug or things like that. But some people might be surprised that this is shutting down or they're not surprised because after all, Disney shuttered the Disney Movie Club fairly recently. They have pushed their DVD production to Sony. And so people are saying, well, this is just another sign that Disney's getting rid of physical media. And you know what? Maybe that is kind of what this is. Maybe because Disney is selling less physical media, maybe it's because they shuttered the Disney Movie Club, that they decided, well, this isn't really useful anymore. People aren't redeeming as much points because they're not buying as much physical stuff. And maybe that was the logic behind the decision to close it. But I have a feeling, well, not a feeling, I, I have a opinion, I should say, that this is a very short-sighted thing that they're doing. Because here's the thing, yes, people are buying physical media in fewer and fewer quantities these days. Yes, the whole movie aspect is probably um, getting to be a little passe. I mean, you didn't just collect points from buying DVDs, but you also got points for buying movie tickets and subscribing to Disney+, Plus. but that only goes so far, and after a while some people might not bother to even check the points at all. But one of the real advantages to having like a points-based reward system is it, well, encourages loyalty. Not only does it encourage loyalty, it encourages more spending. Now, in terms of loyalty, Disney doesn't need help with that. There are people who are extremely loyal to Disney, despite how much they screw up in their eyes. But if you think there is one thing Disney would want to do, it would be to encourage more purchasing and this is where i think disney kind of is missing the forest through the trees because you don't need to shutter disney movie insiders you just simply need to rebrand it like look disney already has this membership called d23 and this is like a club for big disney fans they buy a membership they have a convention for d23 what if to encourage d23 memberships you rebrand disney movie insiders into d23 rewards and what you would do is instead of being limited to just dvds and blu-rays and stuff you would get points on virtually everything you bought from disney provided you were a d23 member and so how that would have looked like in my eyes is okay you pay the 50 to 200 dollars a year for d23 i don't remember exactly how much it costs 
but it's it's not exactly cheap and you say okay now you have a d23 membership so not only with this d23 membership do you get our magazine do you get access to these exclusive events do you get certain discounts at certain locations but every time you go to the disney parks or disney online and you buy something and you include your number you will get points to redeem those points for other disney products in the future and yeah at this point you're giving away way more points than you were when people were just buying physical media but one of the pros of this is like well this encourages people to do two things first of all it encourages them to buy more stuff things that they might not otherwise have bought but because there's going to now be a point element added to it maybe they'll throw in an extra doll or an extra magnet or something at Disneyland or Disney World because they know that it's going to be going towards points to maybe a future vacation or something. And then the second thing it will do is guess what? It encourages people to buy directly from Disney because obviously something like this is not going to take place at a Walmart or a Target. If you buy something Disney related there, unless there's a code that comes with the product, you're not getting points from that. But if people know that they can get that same product straight from Disney and they will now get a point reward for buying it from Disney themselves, well, that cuts out a middleman and that is essentially incentivizing people to buy directly from you and again since there's now a point system maybe they will buy a little bit more to collect those extra points and you can even have point sales day where it's like hey on this day everything you buy you get double the points oh it's your birthday you get three times the points up to like a thousand dollars or something like that there are so many ways that disney could have kept this thing open because one of the nice things about the Disney Movie Insiders is that if you got enough points, you could do things like tour Disney Studios and things like that. These once in a lifetime experiences that would normally not be available to the general public. And how do people get to have that experience? Well, they bought movies. And if they could have found a way to keep this program but expand it, I think they would have done much, much better in the long run, but instead you have a bean counter there who's basically looking at this club and it's like, well, it's called Disney Movie Insiders. It's giving out points for people who buy movie tickets and DVDs and Blu-rays. While we're still selling a lot of movie tickets, we're not selling as much DVDs and Blu-rays and so people aren't redeeming them as much. And so why are we even paying to keep this around? And heck, we're not even gonna be handling that Sony's gonna be handling it, so let's just shut it down. And they looked at it this way instead of looking at the bigger picture and deciding, you know what, this aspect of the points thing is not really working. There's definitely been diminishing returns, but what if we tweaked it a little, we do a little rebrand, and then it goes out, and now we've got a whole new program and renewed interest and what it represents. Because it wasn't even a few years ago that Disney renamed Disney Movie Rewards to Disney Movie Insider. They made a big deal about this at a D23 a few years ago. I mean, why would you even bother with the rebrand if you didn't have any major plans? It seemed like all they did was put a new coat of paint on it and hope that that would increase interest in the program, which it didn't because it's an old program and you weren't actually offering anything new, but if you'd actually done a rebrand while adding something new to the mix, it could have been great. Heck, it could still be great. You have a website, you have people with their points. Like, I, I think it's too late now and they're probably not gonna listen to me anyway, but there is time, in my opinion, to turn this around and keep Disney Movie Insiders in some form while expanding the program and encouraging more brand loyalty to buying products exclusively from you. But that's just me. I mean, I I don't have a business degree. I have a stinking journalism degree. So what the heck do I know? But my question is, what do you guys think about this? Do you think this is a wise thing for Disney to be shutting down? Do you think a rebrand would be better? Or do you think maybe it is time to just let it all go? I would love to know. So leave those comments in the comment section below. Hey, you made it to the end. Thank you so much for making it to the end. Just a few more things. First of all, the names that you see on the screen, these are our Patreon and YouTube member supporters. 
and I thank each and every one of them. Their support helps me make exclusive videos for Patreon and YouTube members, as well as keep the channel running, and of course is just a huge kindness to me. Also, don't forget to check out the iCritic Led podcast on Spotify, Apple, Google, Deezer, whatever podcasting service you listen to, it is there. We definitely want to see you there. And hey, there's also other videos that you can check out. So, you know, check out these other channels, these other videos, especially that one. I think that's a really good one. 